In today's video, I'm gonna be decorating my Bloxburg Motel. If you haven't seen my previous video, I'm gonna put it right here on top of the screen so you can go watch it. I built the exterior of this motel. It honestly looks pretty cute. And with that said, these are the rooms that I have on my motel. So as you can see, these are a bit smaller than these. And then we do have space that is pretty pretty big as you can see. So honestly, I don't even know what this is gonna be. So I think I'm gonna be decorating one of these bedrooms, then one of these, which are actually the same on, on the second floor. Then maybe I'm gonna Gonna see if I can do something with all of the space and I'm also gonna be decorating the lobby so let's start I think with the lobby okay so since this building it looks kind of retro but at the same time it obviously looks modern has like a pretty modern style so we gotta get like a combination of both of those styles and what I was thinking is that this door is actually gonna be for customers but the lobby is gonna be right here so I know like <laughs> the lobby is gonna have all of these windows but it's fine I guess Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be kind of like a little reception area, maybe something like that. It doesn't even have to be that complicated because honestly, it's like a motel. It shouldn't be that, yeah, that kind of like luxurious. It's gonna look pretty simple. What about the cabinets? What color, what color should they be? Maybe if we go for a white, it looks kind of weird because the material is not the material that I want. Also, I'm gonna get one of these windows over here. This is not gonna be one of those sketchy motels. Oh, should we bring the lights on the outside to this lobby? I feel like it's a nice addition, plus the color is kind of like the brand of this motel. Oh, maybe the rooms should be pink as well. I have little pink accents. Oh, here I'm gonna put one of those cork boards. I'm gonna pretend they have the keys over here. There must be a decal on the on the catalog of some keys or some okay i couldn't find like another decal of a key so every key on this actually like every room on this motel is gonna be 0001 what else should we add what oh yeah we can have like a little coffee bar or something for the employees i mean now that i'm thinking about it do motels usually have like breakfast areas because obviously a lot of motel a lot of hotels do but i don't know about motels I don't, know, I don't know if those places have like breakfast designated areas but that's something we could do with this space someone commented on my previous video to do that so it's actually a pretty good idea now that i think about it it would have been super cool to make this motel look kind of sketchy you know it would be a cool idea to do a motel like that if y'all want me to build that leave it in the comments but for now we're gonna make this this motel building look a little bit nicer okay i don't know about the colors of these chairs i don't know if they go along with the whole other color scheme that we're choosing for this motel i mean it doesn't look that bad it's kind of like this shade but a little bit darker i guess they do make sense oh the logo fits perfectly over there what okay I usually hate whenever cabinets are like this that they don't have a, a wall behind them but i feel like for this space it looks kind of cozy but i don't want to like a wall over here so i guess it'll do for some reason this is looking more like a nail salon oh one of these tvs they're perfect for this space well kind of i don't know if you can see it from all of the seat okay i guess this will do for the lobby it looks kind of nice kind of minimalistic i like it all right so there's the lobby now for the rooms i have some inspiration i have a board on pinterest that i want to show you real quick i chose some images that immediately that i saw them i was like my motel has to look like this so i think i'm gonna base off the interior of the rooms from all of these pictures like do you see how everything is like really orangey and green this room also looks kind of scary kind of spooky but it, look, it looks kind of cool it definitely looks vintage look at this one i was thinking we can do the same wood paneling that i did on the exterior for the room and add subtle details like these roses or something i don't know but we're definitely gonna go for something simple yet retro looking so this is gonna be the first room that i'm gonna decorate this other room is gonna probably be the same it's not gonna change that much oh what if we do a pink bathroom that could be kind of cool because i've seen a lot of hotels with pink bathrooms i want to do mine pink as well but i don't want to make it look kind of creepy so i'm gonna have the doors over there this is just a motel it's not gonna have like a kitchenette it's only gonna have well this could have a double bed definitely oh my gosh why are was my game lagging yeah but it does look kind of cramped Okay, I did not think this through definitely. How many times have I said definitely in this video? We can maybe fit a dresser over here. Be a useful thing, a useful item to have in here. I hate how it's not centered. Do you see it's a little bit to the left? Why can't you be centered? 
Okay, I'm also gonna add a TV and I wanted to do like a, I don't even know how to call it, like an armchair in this room, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that because look at the space that we have. Unless I move the door a little bit to the middle and just add a little chair in the corner. I feel like this doesn't look vintage at all, but let's maybe try and add some elements. This lamp, oh, this one's so cool. It fits perfectly with the couch. Look at that, it, it was meant for this. This chair is gonna be... Would it look cool if we do like an orange chair? Oh no, you know what? I should need to keep it kind of like on the theme. I'm gonna use the same teal color that I wanted to use for the exterior lights. This may be a little bit too much. Let's turn it down a bit. Oh, that color is beautiful. Okay, so maybe something like that. Is it too much if I do this? I mean, it looks kind of cool. Oh, you know what hotels usually have? Like wall lamps for some reason, not actual lamps. Wait, but these also look cool. So they're kind of hanging from the ceiling. This for some reason is not looking vintage. What am I even doing here? It just needs something. It still needs something. And like, it doesn't have anything here. I'd kind of like a headboard with a basic shape. Oh my god, again, with the basic shapes on the bed, I always do this and it's kind of, it's getting boring. I need a new idea. It's definitely a lifesaver. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do that and then I know it's looking a little bit boring, but what I'm gonna try and do is get some pillows that are the same color of, as this chair. So yeah, the room kind of has like a theme. Could be that color. Oh, that color looks so good. I'm not even kidding. I don't know why it looks so good, but it does. Maybe like some paintings. Oh, what if we paint the frame black? Could give a good contrast. There's definitely gotta be an alarm clock. Oh, and a Bible. Have you seen that a lot of hotels have Bibles in the drawers? So I'm gonna pretend this book right here is the Bible. Just in case you need it, it's gonna be right here. Oh, and the little pen cups and the, the paper notes. Well, but I'm gonna put that on the dresser. It's gonna be like a com complimentary gift. Name one motel that would give this type of stuff for free. I know hotels for a fact have all these amenities in their room, but like, do motels do this? Oh, the wall trim adds some personality to this room. Okay, just to keep it nice and simple, maybe I'm gonna leave it like this. The bed still needs something. Oh wait, the tray could be on the bed instead of the dresser. So it's like, welcome to your room. Oh, I know what is missing, curtains. Yeah, we said we were gonna have some curtains in here because of privacy. So let's do that. And now let's work on our bathroom. I'm gonna do one of these sleek tub and shower combo. This is where the shower opens, right? So that means I can put some counters in this space. Oh, we have the perfect sink for this type of bathroom, which is this one. Maybe we should also add a, a window on, in the bathroom. Even if it's not that big, something small will work. This right here is the definition of bint. More complimentary gifts. A dope, a ceramic dope for some reason. Why did I add a bird instead of some towels? That would have been 100% more useful. We said we were gonna add these roses. Also, the bathroom should not be that decorated, right? I feel like all the hotel bathrooms are usually kind of empty. They only have the necessary. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the first room. It's not that decorated, which I feel like it's something a motel would do. I don't think Southwind Motel would spend a lot of money on the room. They would charge a lot for it though. I'm gonna do kind of like the same version of this room. It's basically gonna be like a copy paste, but it's gonna be a tiny bit bigger. Okay, so we're gonna have the same bed, of course, with the Bible and everything. Or we could have gotten like two beds. In they would have to be individual beds though, so no. It would end up being the same thing, literally. So we're gonna have that. Then here we can do something different. So we can maybe directly take the counters and do like a whole row of counters not with these trays though oh my god these are almost 700 dollars each so i'm gonna have that and maybe i'm gonna replace this one with an actual cabinet i'm gonna try and get like a kitchenette in here mm, i also wanted to have the tv here so where is the stove gonna go where's the electric cooktop oh here mm, maybe it could be over here doesn't necessarily have to be a very big kitchen obviously oh wait it's all i literally just saw a mini fridge oh yeah I cannot put it like inside of the cabinet. I thought you could. Pretty sure you can. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I forgot to add a phone. Just in case you have like an emergency or something. I'm gonna put them right beside the TV. We can even add two of these chairs right in front of the bed. I still feel like the rooms are lacking a little bit of personality. They could be better, but I'm liking how it's simple because the whole motel itself is really simple, the, the structure of the motel. I'm kind of following that theme along, you know, I don't want to build or decorate something that would differ a lot from the style that we're using already on the whole building. Even get like a microwave in here. 
Okay, now this is a little bit greedy. Let's just stop adding kitchen appliances. Maybe start working in the bathroom. Again, literally gonna be the same as the other one, but a tiny bit bigger. Actually, a ton bigger. Oh wow, that bathroom is huge. I could have added like more room to the actual hotel room. But no, I want to do a gigantic bathroom this time, which is obviously not that realistic for a motel. But hey, it's Bloxburg. I always say that. Flow with it. Let's enjoy it. Oh my god, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to put an arch in this bathroom. This bathroom is looking way more different than what I thought it would be. Okay, so I think I'm done with this motel. Let me give you a tour. At night, of course. This is my Bloxburg motel all complete well almost because the upstairs bedrooms oh wow my game lag the upstairs bedrooms are not decorated and also i changed some of the things in the bedrooms for example i changed the colors i think that this is a much more subtle color scheme for the bedrooms so yeah this is an example of what a normal bedroom looks like i don't even know how to call it but yeah we have these dressers and a tv a phone and a bed it's really really simple and obviously we have the curtains if you want to close them to have more privacy and through this door we have the bathrooms so this is gonna be the bathroom for this kind of bedroom it's not that bad actually and then we have this bigger bedroom which is a tiny bit bigger but it has a kitchenette and everything it has a cooktop it's pretty unrealistic for a motel i think but it's kind of cute it's cool i like the tv the bed is the same we have two armchairs and a little table in the middle and the bathroom is significantly bigger you can see we have a lot of storage and i love how the bathtub is in here like in this middle part of the bathroom and I also added these windows. They look kind of cool from the outside. So this is where the bathrooms are gonna go for this motel. But yeah, I like, I like how this bathroom turned out. And last but not least, I want to talk to you about this part of the motel. I think this would be better if we turn this into bedrooms. So you can definitely decorate them if you want to. I feel like it's pretty unrealistic for a motel to have like a kitchen area and tables. I don't know. I may be wrong, but I've never been to a motel initially, so... Yeah, this is the motel finish. Oh, also, I forgot to show you the lobby. This is the lobby. Here is kind of like the workspace for the personal in the motel. I love the landscape on this motel. And here we have the keys, a little coffee machine, the desk area. Right here we have some sitting area. Just if you were waiting for your room or something, you have a TV over here with the news. And I also added this little bar, again, with a coffee maker for the customers. And yeah, this is it.